Hey everybody, it's Eli here from Treefall Studios. Um, this is Maze Developer Commentary Part 9, I believe. And this is going to be Part 1 of the final commentary video. I'm basically going to split up into two different parts and um, show some of the final steps of development here. And a whole lot has changed since the last time I did a commentary video. Um, a lot of things got added, more levels have been completed, and I did not write everything down that I was going to mention, so if I forget something, and I might just randomly remember it, so it's going to be a little sporadic. But I'm going to start off here first in World 3, and basically uh, one of the first changes, you might have noticed it if you watched... Um, the live stream that um, I guess it's RC Mediacs. Don't really know how to say the company properly, um, but the developer of Lock Drop U did a live stream of this game, um, along with all of his titles last week, a few days ago, really. And um, he had a newer build, not as new as this one, but but now anytime you walk up to a level or anywhere you can go into, a little Q um, thing on the bottom pops up, and says hit the A button to enter. Um, so not only do you have these little blue particles that are flying, these blue auras that are flying to tell you where to stand to enter, um, it, um, this little text box will also pop up to let you know what is enterable and what's not enterable. Um, so that is one change. Another thing is, is I've been working on the pause screen and uh, as you can see, uh, it's not super clear on this level, but um, it's not fully functional yet. Um, but basically, it masks over the game, lets you know you're paused, and um, a control scheme pops up. It's actually kind of messed up on this one. It was working a second ago, but everyone was um, complaining a little bit during the letter because the controls are only in the very beginning, and it doesn't really teach you what does what, and you might forget, and there's no way to look um, what the controls are. Um, so now, anytime you'll have access to um, the controls list, Sorry about that. There's a few bugs in it, and I'll get that worked out. Um, so I think I'm going to be showing off a couple levels. I'm going to show the last one in a little bit greater detail. It's one of the metallic mazes. Um, I'm going to show just the start of the fruit level, I believe, and I'm going to go show the start of a new level in the bonus world. Um, also... Uh, another cool thing to note, um, when Mike uh, from the developer Block Drop U was playing um, my game, he had this suggestion saying that he thought it was kind of hard, a little bit hard in some situations where it needed a lot of platforming and you had to press the B button to jump. Um, and with all these moving platforms in certain levels that I haven't really shown off yet, and you have to turn and move really quickly in some levels. Um, so actually based on his suggestion and um, some others, I added another jump button, which is the ZR button. So now you can play and while you're walking, you can jump and still have your finger on the turning um, knob, the right analog stick. And um, it's much easier to jump. So you can use B or you can use ZR, which is another new control thing that I think is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna go into this harvest level really quickly and give you a sneak peek at that. It's got the new music in here for that, and I'm not gonna walk forward, but as you can see, one of the new fruits that I added were um, a bunch of grapes. So this level is pretty cool. Um, I really love the feel of that. And now that I'm in this level, I'm gonna talk about another change. Um, is you notice um, in the top right-hand corner, the coin counter now has an accurate reflection of what the coins are. It had been the older coin symbol for a while, and I redrew that earlier today and now it reflects more accurately the coins so that's been changed as well and now after this finish loads after it's finished loading I'm gonna hop into the um, 24th maze which is um, w one of the more difficult ones uh, I'm not gonna show too much of it because this maze is really really cool um, it's one of my favorites. That's why I just want to show one little part because um, I think it was it was really fun to make. So I'm not going to give away like in, I'm only going to give away like one coin position. Really, I'm trying not to do that because um, there's a lot of 
twisting corridors in this maze. <clears throat> but I do want to show this one part. Um, it's just like the finish part. Um, you got to go through the rest of the maze um, before you can like really utilize this part. But basically, there's like this alleyway over here <clears throat> of platforming. You can see there's these giant magnets that are stuck on the walls. And you got to jump to them and run across them. And then there's more floating platforms. And you got to go on the other side and then turn left and over there. And there's like other instances of floating gears and. Um, other giant 3d things in this level along with tons of um, box like corridors so this level is pretty big and um, it's really really cool I think so I hope you guys are looking forward to that Now, I was planning on showing off the um, the water level, which is Maze 23 over here. Um, I was planning on showing that off in this commentary. Um, that's one of the reasons I split it into two, because it's not completely ready to be shown. Um, I'm just going to show an overview, just like I did the, the 24th Maze and um, the Harvest Maze over here. Um, so... That's going to be pushed into commentary, the part two of this final commentary. Um, and hopefully it's going to be one of the larger mazes as well. And hopefully you'll be looking forward to that. Um, coming up pretty soon. Not sure when I'll have the next video out. Probably in within a few days, probably about four days or so. I should have everything else going up. Um, quick note, added some more colors here. Actually, I'll go ahead and go into the gym collector maze. Um, I added some more textures to the gyms. Um, I already showed off a preview of this really quickly. Um, I just wanted to go in here to show that I have changed all of the, um, coin counters, basically. And, uh, this coin counter is, um, unique, um, because it features the actual sprites of the coins, or not coins, um, gems that you collect in the game, um, and they're arranged into that formation up in the top, and um, basically when you still get these coins, it still counts up there. So, just thought I'd mention that. <clears throat> Added a little variety to the um, gem collector maze, if you're familiar with that game. And the final thing I want to show off um, in this commentary video, <coughs> excuse me, I got a little tickle in my throat here, um, is this last um, level in the bonus world, and um, I haven't shown it off yet. It's the journey of a special average balloon level, and there's only there's a specific reason that I'm about to show this level. Um, uh, before I get into that. Also, I was going to have the new cloud system um, and new skybox system shown off in this video, but um, that was not 100% complete either, so all of those new changes are also going to be pushed into the final part, the second half of the final commentary. Um, so um, you'll be looking forward to that too. Don't worry, I'm going to edit a lot, some of these skies, this blue sky stuff, and um, draw some extra clouds and stuff like that. Um, but I want to show off this level really quickly. It's a smaller level, like most of the bonus world levels. Um, if you've ever played the game, this is, has one of the skies from the game. Um, and you can see this is the desert. Um, got sand here, and all these different cactuses make up the walls of this maze. And um, it's playing the desert theme music from this game, um, from Journey of a Special Average Balloon, which was the first game that Treefall Studios has ever created. Um, it's like a short, very small app-like game. And... Um, Actually, I mean, while I'm here, I might as well, for the wonderful people that watch my commentary videos, announce that we are making Journey of Special Average Balloon for Nintendo Wii U. And um, it is in development right now. Um, it will be done pretty soon, and it will also be hitting the end of this year along with Maze, is, as long as everything goes to plan. 
um, in testing times as well. Um, and basically, it's going to be like the game was originally, except for it's going to be at a higher resolution. Um, there's going to be an added two-player mode. And the version we released only contained nine levels, um, three different worlds, three levels from each world. And we are adding more worlds to the game. And it's going to be cheaper, um, just kind of like a fun filler, because um, it's just really fun to replay. It's got um, a bit of randomness to it. And um, we're going to do something, some stuff with high scores and the collecting of the coins and uh, sharing on Miiverse and stuff. And um, it's going to be about 99 cents on the eShop. So um, if you've ever seen anything about our game Journey of a Special Average Balloon, um, you should definitely look into that. Um, we will be announcing a lot more on it soon, along with um, screenshots, a trailer, um, things like that. Um, hope you're looking forward to that. I'm um, loading the bonus level, bonus world back up here. Yeah, I'm still doing it. But alrighty, thanks for watching um, this final part one of the commentary, everyone. Um, the funding campaign is actually still going. Um, it's got about 15 or 16 days left. Not totally sure. Um, but yeah, if, if you're still on the fence or if you'd like to donate or whatever, you still can. Um, the game is not going to be completed until after this point because... Um, I have to go through and get everyone's names for the credits, and um, there's going to be a long credit sequence. Um, there's going to be names on it from both of the funding campaigns, um, and I've got a really cool idea coming up for the credits. So, um, yeah, check it out, share it around. Um, I'm a lot of people are um, still wary of the campaign. Um, they basically think we're, you know, I guess trying to scam them or whatever. Um, and not put any effort into Maze like we did with the letter, quote-unquote. Um, but yeah, we're working very, very hard on this title and, um, and updates to previous titles and all our future titles. I hope you really check it out, and I hope everyone really enjoys this game. Um, in the next part of the commentary, I'm also going to be showing off, besides the new clouds and um, the new water level, um, just a sneak preview of that. I'm also going to be showing a look at how arcade mode works and how we will interact with Miiverse. Um, yeah, and I might just go ahead and add in an extra multiplayer look, um, a more a closer look at the newer version of the multiplayer mode. Um, I hope everyone's looking forward to this. I'm so thankful for everyone who's taking the time to watch these videos. It really means a lot to me, and thanks for all the wonderful comments you guys have been giving me. It, it's great. Um, I just hope you guys have a wonderful night. That's it for this time. See you later.